वेलकम टू वेदांतु मलयालम चैनल दिस इज सना खान योर मैथ्स मास्टर टीचर फ्रॉम वेदांतु एंड आई एम हियर टुडे टू हेल्प यू इन लर्निंग सम स्पेशल टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ व्हिच यू कैन स्कोर 400 प्लस मार्क्स इन योर कीम मैथ्स एग्जाम आई नो आई नो इट्स अ वेरी बिग गारंटी ओवर हियर दैट 400 आउट ऑफ 480 इज दैट इवन पॉसिबल व्हाई नॉट but if you seriously follow all the tips that i'm going to tell today definitely you can do that even in this last one month time so are you guys ready let's see what all things we can follow which chapters should we focus first how should we attempt the answer sheet how should we fill the omr sheet how should we prepare for the exam everything will be discussed in today's lecture so don't go anywhere all right so without wasting any time let's get started first tip is how you should attempt the paper if you want to really score above 400 marks now everybody thinks that you have to attempt the paper from 1 to 120 or from 120 to 1 we generally have that mentality okay but that's not how you should approach the paper you should approach the paper in three stages stage a stage b stage c stage a you attempt only the questions you are 100% sure oh this this i know the formula oh this this i know the theory so just attempt those questions in 1 hour and 15 minutes that's your target that in 1 hour 15 minutes you should be able to attempt from 1 till 120 all the questions that you are 100% sure now make sure that you put a tick that you have completed the question clear next there are some questions you are just 60% sure you are like ah i know the formula maybe if i think a little i will be able to apply it right you leave those questions like star mark okay put a star mark put a dot a circle like this so that you remember that once this time is over and all the questions you have attempted and seen once you go back to your question paper and you check all these star mark questions and you take another 30 minutes to complete all of them then there might be some questions you are just 20% sure that oh sana ma'am has taught what is what was that uh, maximum minima concept or what was that determinants concept we remember she has taught let's think a little more about it maybe we will memorize the formula so if you are like at least i have heard this question at least i have seen this question maybe i'll think and i'll do so try to attempt those questions in the last 15 minutes if only you are like you are not marking the answer attempting the question means you are going to approach it solve it okay then of course there is type d question which you are 0% sure never seen never heard don't attempt because you have negative marking and negative marking is something we don't want all right so attempt your paper in three stages next refer to ncert textbook and memorize all the formulas your 60% of the work is done you guys know very well keem exam is 100% basic theory and formula based right and in that 60% is formula 40% is theory so if you memorize all the formulas you will be able to solve 60% of the paper so just open your ncert of class 11th of class 12th memorize each and every formula and if you want a formula cheat sheet comment in this comment section of this video that you want formula cheat sheet or not i will bring it for you okay next previous year question paper how many have you solved it yet okay you don't have time to solve it don't type but at least have you analyzed the question paper it is so 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 important to give you an idea from which chapter which topic is coming if you don't know that which topic is important you are just learning mindlessly you are just learning this learning that learning this learning that but what is the use of it it is just wasting your time you should have a concrete idea which topic is going to come in your exam which topic are important which topic is least important so analyze last 3 years question paper must solve it or not your wish but analyze it okay next how you are going to attempt your answer sheet i have some special tips and tricks for you which can help you solve maximum number of question tip number 1 try to eliminate options if you are not sure of the answer how you can eliminate them always the option which looks absolutely different 12 13 16 125 
which one looks absolutely different this one this is definitely not the answer eliminate this then focus on only the remaining options second is whenever you have all of the above none of the above make sure to think in that direction maybe you will be able to solve that question maybe that question because generally if all of the above none of the above is given they are the answers okay next always remember the direct values you should know what is cos 120 you should not be like okay in exam i will calculate cos 120 now what i will do cos 60 plus 60 or i will do cos 180 minus 60 i'll do something and i'll take out value no you should remember what is cos 120 if you want to save your time you should remember what is the value of root 2 1.44 so you should remember the values if you want to give the answer then and there itself at the right time okay next sometimes it is basically uh, observed from a lot of practical uh, experiments on students that mostly in most of the exams it was observed that option b or option c is the most probable option so if you want to guess the answer if you are going for the tukka game if you want to just guess it you are not sure of the answer but you just want to guess it so guess b or c avoid a and d and if you are confused between b and c choose b that is what the experts say that out of many experiments it was found that generally b c and especially b is the right answer okay next is how you should be filling the omr sheet two mistakes you must avoid at all cost first is not reading the instructions carefully well that is one huge mistake every omr sheet is different every omr sheet has a different instruction sometimes they'll give you like one two three four sometimes they'll give you like one two three four a b c d the pattern differs many a times and even the circling pattern clearly you should read whether they are just asking to circle to fill the omr with pencil, with pen, with black pen, with blue pen, what is written in the instruction, you read it carefully, okay? Next, mark the answer while solving the paper only. Why am I saying this? Because you are attempting the paper first A, first B, then C. That means what? First, you are doing 100% sure question. Nah? So, suppose you have attempted question 1, 2, 3, but you are skipping 4. Now, in the OMR sheet, you mark the answer of question number one you mark the answer of question number two you mark the answer of question number three but you don't mark the answer of question number four you leave it as it is at that time itself don't leave it for the last time that i will solve the question paper at the end i will fill the mr sheet because that might become a horror story so don't do that next is how you should approach the question which you think you can solve you know 60 percent but you are just uh, like 50 50 percent showed it might be the answer might not be the answer approach answer to the question how there will be many times direct equation linear equation quadratic equation and they will ask you which value of x will satisfy the equation so simple just take the value of x put it in the equation and you will know that it is the answer or not so sometimes from the options you can guess like put the options in the questions and you can guess the answer also there are a lot of questions where multiple answers are possible, multiple type of equations are possible. So always look at the options to get the final answer. Suppose you have got something like minus 4 by 16. I'm just saying. So in the answer sheet, it is given minus 1 by uh, 4. Or if they have given like maybe a multiple of it. For example, they give you uh, minus 12 upon a uh, 48 so you'll be like oh i am not getting the right answer but if you simplify it you will get the right answer right so just look at the options and you will have an idea that maybe you are doing it right only the options are different or maybe you have to approach it this way got it okay next when you are preparing for the subjects how you should do smart study there are two things first study your strong topics this is always advised always suppose i tell you integration has a lot of marks of course i will say because it has a lot of marks integration is like 10 to 15 questions are asked every year 
बट यू डोंट नो इंटीग्रेशन यू डोंट नो ए बी सी डी ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन एंड यू हेट इट टू द कोर ऑफ यूर हार्ट दैट यू आर यू लाइक सो स्केर्ड ऑफ इट दैट यू कान स्टडी सो वॉट कैन यू डू then rather than integration if you know probability if you know statistics if you know uh, sequence in series why don't you complete these topic first they will also give you six question six question six question 18 question so rather than doing this 15 question you can do this 18 question of course rather than one chapter you have to study three chapters but if you already know the three chapters it is easier na why are you wasting time in integration so learn your strong topics first then move on to your weaker topics if you have time because now you don't have time to study anything new everything old is better okay next is always study smart and study less how is that possible by learning the chapters which are highly highly asked repetitively asked every year now what are those chapters that you should focus on well i'm very sorry to say but differential calculus and integration calculus are the most important chapters which are asked most in the question paper differential calculus 15 to 20 question which is basically 60 to 80 marks is asked every year from just differentiation then integration itself it's like a two chapter only integration application of integration just two chapters 10 to 15 questions 40 to 60 marks you cannot avoid that if you even if you want to right but yeah of course if you can you are like super scared of it just replace it with some easier chapters some known chapters like uh, you know probability you know sequence and series you know linear programming so learn those okay next is 2D geometry 2D geometry is like conic sections straight lines there are so many formulas so many concepts and that is why 13 to 15 questions 52 to 60 marks every year next vectors and 3D super easy you must 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 prepare this chapter 14 to 15 questions guaranteed 56 to 60 marks guaranteed it is that easy you will obviously be able to solve it okay next trigonometry we have already covered trigonometry on our channel if you haven't seen go see it trigonometry and inverse trigonometry two chapters combined 7 to 10 questions definitely come from this chapter identities and formulas direct will come they are not like super complex questions don't come so please learn trigonometry learn all the values learn all the formulas to get 28 to 40 marks okay next complex number again super easy chapter 7 to 8 question every year and generally at the beginning of the question paper you will see lots of complex numbers so it will boost up your confidence do learn this chapter 28 to 32 marks will be guaranteed matrices and determinants we have already done on the channel they are super super easy chapter you should learn them at all cost 6 to 7 questions pakka guaranteed you will be able to solve 24 to 28 marks guaranteed you will get just watch the lectures you will be able to solve all the questions pakka okay next sequence and series ap gp you have learned in class 10 you have learned in class 11 they are easy topics lots of questions are formula based 6 to 7 questions will come 24 to 28 marks guaranteed and lastly sets relation and functions so what should i say about these two chapters they are the easiest chapters and definitely scoring chapters 7 to 8 marks guarantees 28 to 32 marks guaranteed for you so your priority chapters are all of these if you are scared of any of these chapter you replace them with some other chapter with what can you replace them binomial theorem linear programming probability statistics so these small small chapters can replace this big chapter but of course from those chapters only 3 or maximum 4 question will be asked not more than that so if you are replacing one chapter here you have to learn two chapters there so it's up to you if you have strong topics over there learn them if you don't have like even if it's like a 
you don't know probability you don't know integration so which one you will learn first integration don't learn probability first if you don't know it okay so do the chapters which you know and which are there in this list first if you want to score super good marks all right guys so if you follow all these tips starting from today itself you will definitely be able to score 400 plus marks in your math scheme exam now that's all for today but if you want any other special tips tricks formula cheat sheet anything any other help from me just let me know in the comment section i'm there to hear you all and i will bring that lecture next week itself thank you for watching the video i hope it was useful for you see you in the next class Bye bye